There's an alligator. Okay, I got this. Uh! Oh, crap! Jump! <laughs> yes! All about timing. We got this. He's slow. Oh! Damn it! I forgot to move. Ooh! Swing and hop. There he goes. Oh, no! I'm gonna run out of stamina. Okay, the rocks. Hide behind the rocks. Okay, we got this. He's almost down, but then so are we. Ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Hey guys, what is up? This is Matt Star, and we are still continuing our Let's Play Conan Exile. This is going to be our first confrontation with the natives and I got this because I've been practicing my moves and I'm confident we're gonna kick some ass that's right oh yeah oh you like that yeah uh, missed you missed that's right what oh wait a minute that's not fair and now I got this spear through my arm all right, I could have taken him down if it was just him, but now his buddy had to join the fight. Come on. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for two just yet. All right, I think we're a good distance. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of stamina already, but... <gasps> He's here! What the hell? Oh no! Oh God, you wouldn't hit a girl with an axe, would you? Eh! Oh! Oh, you a-hole. All right, well. All right. Let's go back to my glowing, pathetic body. Get all my stuff. You know what? I'm going to seek revenge on those Defari fighters. They are going to taste iron from my sword. All right, let's chop this body up because I can't stand to see it. And besides, we need meat. <laughs> Can we get meat? Now we're getting human flesh. All right, so we've been grinding away and we got to concentrate on making our workbenches and get all that good stuff. Start upgrading our armor because we desperately need to get out of these rags. <gasps> There's an alligator. Okay, I got this. Ah! about timing. We got this. He's slow. Oh! Damn it. I forgot to move. Ooh! Swing and hop. There he goes. Oh no! I'm gonna run out of stamina. Okay, the rocks. Hide behind the rocks. Okay, we got this. He's almost down, but then so are we. Ah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Nice. That was a power move. <laughs> Whew. He almost got us. Oh, some more feral flesh and fangs. All right. All right, so I have been grinding away. There's my base. My temporary little shelter. And, uh... We've got everything almost... <gasps> There's another one. Damn it! Oh. Damn these alligators, man! I got this. We got our moves down. Let's go. You ain't gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. Jump! Woo. Oh, no! No! Oh, shoot. One more bite and we're goners. We gotta get him. We're almost there. No! <laughs> oh! Damn it! My timing was shit. 
That was bad. You know what? He's already almost dead. We're gonna go back and kick his ass. I am so pissed. There he is. Alright, let's get our body quickly. Alright. We're gonna kick his ass. Get my sword. Get my rags on. You are dead. You are alligator shoes. Where is he at? Where is he? There he is. There he is. Come on, I'm ready. Ooh, he's just like Jaws. Look at that. Yeah, that's right. You're mine! Come on, go ahead. Missed. Yes! One more and we're not done. <laughs> yeah, we got you. We got you. Yeah, how you like that now? Huh? That's right. You're a bloody mess. And you're going to be chopped up. And you are going to go on my cooking pot. That's right. Stupid alligator. Damn, it's infested. All right, let's rigor mortis. We can't hurt this. I'm all stiffed. <laughs> My body just disappeared. That was fast. That's all right. I didn't want to see my pathetic body. All right, so let me show you my humble abode. And you can see, ta-da, four walls. And nothing in it yet. But we're working on it. We are going to see if we can craft us a, I don't know, some kind of workbench. Uh, we got to make us some twigs. And what else do we need here? Okay, so we want to make the armorer's bench. Yeah. We really got to upgrade these rags. It's not really helping us with any kind of defense. And we need all the defense we can get. All right, so we got all of our stone and we got enough wood. And we have our twine made. So now we wait a couple of minutes. All right, so I'm gonna place it somewhere along this wall. <laughs> if I can figure out how to align it right. Let's see. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I placed it and I cannot move it. Ah, crap. No, I don't want it like that. All right, screw it. Let's just dismantle. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful when you um, press that left mouse button. Um. All right, we'll just have to recreate one. All right, so it didn't take me long to gather the materials because it's just basically rock and wood and twigs, twine. Okay, <laughs> take two. We're going to do this the right way. All right, I just want to line it up against the wall. Easy peasy, right? Uh-oh. Okay. Easy peasy. Now, no, not up on the wall. A line against the wall. Come on. It's bad enough I have grass growing in my house. But uh, surely I can align this to the wall, right? Okay. It, crap. If I can figure this out. All right. This should be easy. So, no. <laughs> That'll be interesting if we have it right on the wall. Up on the wall. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. All right, it's overlapping. What is it overlapping another object? There's nothing there. All right, so... Right there. 
That looks good. That looks good, right? There. And yes. All right. We got it. Okay, what can we craft in here? Oh, look at that. All right. And uh, a lot of them need, they need leather. Okay, so the next thing we need to learn is the furnace. So there we can smell our iron once we find it and make our iron tools. All right, and I think I'm going to get the improved campfire because I think you can uh, cook a lot more than just the meat, I believe. And we definitely need to upgrade our axe. All right. All right, so we just made the artisan's work table and uh, we are going to place it side by side with the other workstation here. It's overlapping, we know. Okay, maybe we can fit it on this corner. I am over encumbered. Why is that? Okay, so... Oh, look at that. Pillows, bowls. Yeah, I can't wait to craft those items for our house. That's going to be really cool looking. All right, so now one of the most important things to make is the furnace. So we can smelt our iron and make brick out of that for more building materials. And uh, we have enough for that. And all it takes is just stone. About 540 pieces of stone, which we easily have. There's plenty of rock around. All right, so let's wait till that is done and place that against the wall too. All right, we'll place it right next to the work benches because we plan on getting another, making another furnace and placing it side by side. Can never have enough. All right, that looks good right there. All right, so we get the wood and we know that's the roll. We put it in the slot and uh, we get our iron, our little 12 pieces of iron. <laughs> There's not much around in this area. We're really going to have to go out looking for that. I think maybe we can make, uh, I don't know, a uh, pickaxe. We have enough? Not sure. All right, there it goes. Yes. We got our iron going. Oh, we need to get a lot of We need to get a lot of leather, thick leather to make the good stuff. Okay, looks like we just need leather and twine for the medium armor. Oh, we're going to need some iron. We got to find more iron, guys. I have no idea where to find iron around in this part of the map. We're going to have to go venturing. All right, so I have been really working hard, grinding for all the mats, getting all this stuff. We have our large campfire, and we're going to place it right in the middle because it's huge. And we can just start cooking from all angles. <laughs> all right, what is the next thing we need to create? Uh, beds, let's see. We need a bed, definitely. Blacksmith, no. We need iron for that. We don't know where that's at yet. And look at that. We made brick. Okay, we're going to need some more. Put more stone in there. Guys, I am cranking this out. We have a tannery now. And we have some leather that we need, or hide, that we need to turn into leather so I can start making better armor. Um, that's going to be really helpful. All right. I know that it says it needs bark, but I'm curious. If we put in wood, will it, will it burn? Nope, the little button doesn't light up. 
Alright, so you definitely need bark, and I don't know why I keep trying to put it in there. Alright, so while it's crafting the leather, we are going to organize a little bit here. Put my fat grub <laughs> Ew. in my toolbar, because we're going to eat that probably next. That's cool that you can see the spoilage time right below the food. Okay, I was just seeing if I can use that. Look, there's tar. So you also get tar from the leather. Okay. Alright, so we need lots more leather and meat. And we can probably use some of those eggs. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go hunting for those turtle thingies. I don't know what they are. But they don't attack unless you attack them. And yeah, I don't feel bad. I'm sorry. I don't feel bad. That's food. Ooh. Okay, maybe. Eey. Oh, he's pissed. Take that. Oh, yeah. I got my spear. I'm going to use the rocks and the trees to help me <laughs> shield it. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God. Woo. Oh, he got me. Take that. He got this. Ooh, the way they just hiss. We got him. These guys, for some reason, are a lot easier than the uh, alligators. All right. All right, let's see what we get here. And, yeah, hide, and we got some bone. Nice. Oh, this one's asleep. Totally mix all the action. <laughs> They're hard sleepers. All right, I'm just going to chop up your baby. I'm sorry, but I need it. Look at that. Should I get it? Yes. There you go. Oh, I'm so confident with these guys. Okay. Let's stop. Try out my big old spear. Nice. Uh-oh. Shoot. You got me. Damn it, I couldn't move on time. Oh, he got me again. Oh, and again. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? This one almost got me. All right, got my some savory flesh. Yeah, that was close. I got to time it better. It's all about the timing. Get us some more aloe. All right, there's another one here on the beach. And we are doing good. This is good practice for us. All right, I need your hide. I need your meat. Cooperate. And this will go by pretty quick. Come on. Let's do this. What? No! Oh god. Ah. I'm running out of stamina. This is not good. Oh shoot. They are pissed. <gasps> Come on. Yes. Okay, got my stamina back. Oh, let me just get this one. Damn it, he got me. Come on. Go down. Yes. We got one down. Oh, we're good. We're looking good. We got our health or our stamina. Yes, come on! Oh god! Yes! Woo! Look at that! We got two down. We are badass. We are getting there. Alright guys, I finally have enough to make this pleasure place of Derketo. And with this, this is the... Uh, temples that are dedicated to the goddess Durketo and you can make potions, healing potions 
that are a lot stronger than the aloe vera potions and this is way too big to put in here we're gonna have to go outside and place that all right all right guys when placing these make sure you have flat surface because it becomes difficult all right recipe for Durket Durketto's kiss it's a dagger and that is a tool for extracting unfulfilled desires. All right, and we just need stone and twine for that, or is that branch? Durketto's potion. Okay, we're going to have to also see what we can do with that, but I think we have enough for the dagger right now. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got that. Easy to make, and then we'll find out what we can do with that. So we're going to put that in the slots in here. All right, now let's craft it up. Transmute, Reaper and Silver of Unfulfilled. Elixir of Freedom, Silver of Unfulfilled, and a handful of insects. Huh, how do we get that Silver of Unfulfilled? Well, we'll concentrate on the dagger for now. <laughs> when we're ready, we'll, I guess we'll come across that. Alright, I'm going to put that on my taskbar. And I think we can harvest something from it. Oh, what's this? Manifestation of Zeal. Over time, a place that is used for religious ceremonies takes on certain significance, not simply in the minds of the followers of that religion, but also in others who pass through an area. In the oldest groves and shrines of the world, the presence of those ancient gloomy gods can still be felt. In the shining altars of Mitra, or the bloody slabs of, the, of Set, the manifestation of the spiritual presence is palpable. Hmm, interesting. When the shrine is defiled, this effect leaches slowly away, but if... The defilers are of the opposing religion. They actually absorb the power that they have stolen. Ah. Durketto's Kiss. Durketto teaches that when a person dies, their unfulfilled desire manifests within their bodies. The worshippers of Durketto have created this tool for extracting that remnant for those who die. All right. Well, I guess we'll find out once uh, we kill something with it, what we get. And maybe it's one of the elixirs there. Should be interesting. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave it here. And I'm going to continue with the grind and uh, getting more items uh, crafted so we can move along with this series. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. See you in the next episode.